Hello fellow outsiders and welcome to this cabin update episode for the Log Cabin on a Budget series. You guys will probably have noticed that I haven't been able to do as many cabin update videos recently and there's a very good reason for that. We have been very busy so things have been happening behind the scenes but we've had to make a lot of crucial decisions as we're in a bit of a time crunch seeing as how we want to get the sill logs and the floor joists in place before winter comes which I'm seriously wondering if we can do at this point. I just don't know. We're just going to keep working until we can't work anymore. But some of the major decisions that we've had to make uh, with the time crunch right now is that I've had to decide whether or not it's worth it to film or to put the camera down and just get the work done for the day. The thing is, when I film, it takes up about a third of our day uh, to set the camera shots up, to properly show what we're doing, and so there's been a few days where I've just had to put the camera down and just get some work done. And so that's why you haven't been seeing as many update videos, but this is so ultimately we can get everything done before winter comes so that we can keep making episodes during the winter time. Another major decision that we've made is to divide our efforts which seems counterproductive if we want to get the cabin flooring in place before winter. But uh, basically what we've done is I've continued to work on getting the sill logs and floor joists in place while my dad has made it his project to work on building a bunkhouse slash tool shed. And in building this, we're hoping that it'll save us a ton of time in the future. Currently, Having my dad off building the tool shed and me on my own building the flooring is slowing us down, but we're hoping that it'll speed us up as we continue. And the reason for that is this location is fairly isolated, and so it takes us about a quarter of our day just to travel out here, to get set up for the day, to get our tools out and get going. And then at the end of the day, we have to set aside time to get our tools back uh, in the bins and get the tarps covering them again and then we have to get out of here so that takes up a lot of time as well and so in deciding to build the bunkhouse uh, it's a place that we can just store our tools we know they're dry there and we don't have to worry about getting them all out from underneath the tarps every time we're out here and getting them back in so we're hoping that'll save us some time and as well we want to build some uh, bunks in the tool shed here uh, and that's so Sometimes when I'm out here working away, I don't have to worry about stopping early to get everything, everything done and to get home before dark. I can work until the sun goes down and then I can sleep in the bunkhouse for the night and, uh, and that'll just maximize the time that I have out here and in the morning I can go home. So that's another time-saving decision that we've made even though that in the present uh, it doesn't seem like it's saving time. but. Here's hoping that it'll help anyway. We ended up building the bunkhouse out of poplar logs and we've been processing the lumber on the sawmill which has been awesome to have out here with us. And the reason why we're building it out of poplar is because we don't want to use up the valuable cedar logs that we'll be using for the cabin. In my area, poplars are known to be a really cheap wood. It's not really good for burning. It's not really good for building because it just, it rots too quickly. Uh, so we're not building this bunkhouse to stay here forever, but really it's just a temporary solution where we can keep our tools for the next few years, where we can use it as a bunkhouse for the next few years, and just so we can get this cabin project done. The bunkhouse is sitting on four by six runners, so they're really beefy poplar runners. So I'm hoping in, in the thickness of the base of it that it'll last a long time, hopefully. You know, maybe for the next 10 years before it starts to show signs of 
of rotting and needing repair, but we've made them into runners so that we can hook a chain up to the shed if we ever want to and relocate it somewhere else if need be, but I really don't see uh, us needing to move it, but it's just nice to have that option. As well, we have the runner sitting on top of about a half a dozen penny pavers just to keep it off the ground and to keep it from rotting uh, as much as we can anyway. And then my dad installed four by four uh, floor joists and we have a, an inch and a half thick floorboard. So again, it's just, we've tried to make the base of the shed as beefy as possible so that we can keep it around as long as we can. So currently we have the base already built and that's ready to go. Not too bad. Looks like we might not even need to level the place off, eh? Yeah, except that I still want to get it up off the ground, but it's, it is fairly up. Wow, that way too. That's great. Well, we can probably grab some field stones that are flat and put them under uh, each corner. Today I've been out processing more lumber for the bunkhouse. As well, I've been working on uh, the sill logs and so by the next cabin update episode I hope that we will be able to frame up the bunkhouse and at least get it tarped in uh, before the snow comes. I don't think we're going to be able to finish it completely because that means we have to go out and get more poplar logs and process them and that would just be that would take way too much time. Next year we can put actual walls on it and put a real uh, roof on it. So yeah that is where we are for now. Am I going to get the sill logs in place and the floor joists in place before winter comes? At this point, I have no idea, but I do promise to keep you guys updated as much as possible. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'm The Outsider saying, until next time.